Hey, what's going on? So in this video, we're going to be covering how to do what's called the dumbbell clean. Um, this is a great strength building exercise. It's great for conditioning. It's great for explosiveness. Um, and if you've been around strength and conditioning circles or lifting circles, you've seen plenty of people do the barbell clean, right? Uh, or the clean and press above the head. Uh, the dumbbell clean is a little bit different of a movement, which we're going to cover today. And there's some things that people do wrong with it. Uh, so I'm going to show you exactly how to do it, how to correct those issues, um, and how you can maximize this movement and place it in your workout program to get max benefit from it. All right, so let's start with a weight. So here's the deal with choosing a weight for dumbbell cleans. If you can curl it, it's too light, okay? So if you're used to doing dumbbell curls and you can curl 30, 35s, 40s, you probably don't wanna use a 40 or a 35 for your, for your dumbbell clean. The reason being is because if you can use your arm to curl it, you don't have to use your legs, which means you can cheat on the movement and you're not gonna get the most benefit out of it. So for the sake of today's exercise, because I'm kind of nursing an injury, we're gonna go light. We're gonna go with a 40, uh, 45 pound dumbbell, all right? So to start with the dumbbell clean, what you need to do is you choose one dumbbell and you hang it in front of you, not to the side, okay? In front, okay, right? Basically you're putting a head, of, a head on either side of the dumbbell on your quads, all right? The second part of the movement is you're dipping your hips, you're dropping down, hinge, all right? If you're not squatting, all right, you're not pushing the knees out and dropping, you're actually hinging here, almost like a deadlift, almost like a kettlebell swing, same type of movement, all right? Because what you want to do is you want to drive those hips into the dumbbell and get it up to your shoulder. Now, the next part of the dumbbell clean is where people get the most confused and start to do it wrong, all right? If you've seen people do a barbell clean, right, they, they drive up from the floor with the bar and they get under the bar this way. They flip the wrist up, typically, right? With a dumbbell clean, you're not gonna do that. The shape of the dumbbell, with doing it with one arm, it's too awkward. And a lot of times people, they mess up their wrist when they do it this way. So the way I'm gonna show you how to do it, you're actually doing it across your body, okay? So with the dumbbell clean, instead of coming out this way and flipping the wrist up, right, you're not doing this, okay? You're not doing this. You're kind of actually coming across the body, bringing it close to your body. Again, you're not curling it with your arm. Your arm just kind of follows through, all right? So I'll show you a couple reps. <clears throat> okay, what you're gonna do is you can hang the dumbbell down. You can put this arm up to the side, you can drop it down below, however you wanna do it. Just keep it out of the way, all right? Gonna drop the hips and bring it up to the shoulder, okay? Now, if you notice, the dumbbell is tight to my body. All right, if I give you a side angle, you can see my elbow is dug into my, to my core, similar to a kettlebell clean. All right, what you're not doing, you're not doing this, okay? You know, resting it on the shoulder. Well, if it's a lighter weight, you can. If you start getting into really heavy weights, you're gonna need that core stability to keep that weight anchored, okay? So again, dropping the hips, up to the shoulder. Elbows tucked, bring the dumbbell right up to your chin. I'll give you one more from the front and then we'll go to the side. Okay, let's go to the side now. Start from the top. See how close the dumbbell is to my body? On the way up. What I'm not doing is this. Too much tension on the shoulder and the elbow and the wrist. You do that with heavy weight, you gotta crank those joints. You don't wanna do that. Especially because the elbow, the wrist, and the shoulder joints, especially if you're a guy and you've been lifting for a long time, are super prone to injury. If you're not injured with them already. A lot of us are already nursing injuries. So again, not coming out. Not swinging the weight out, coming across the body this way. Legs, drive up, arm follows through. Let me give you a couple reps from the other side. Okay, again, drop the hips, hands out of the way. All right, elbows tucked, thumbs under the chin. Oh, I felt that one. <laughs> Got a little pure thing going on. 
All right, I'm gonna give you a couple from the side here, as you can see. And if you notice, when you do the clean, you do it right, your hips actually come up before your arms come up, all right? Hips come up and the arm follows through. It's not one motion, okay? So the hips come up and then the weight, because of the drive from the hips, becomes weightless. The weight's driven up from the hips and you just kind of set it right in front of the shoulder, okay? Another thing you want to take notice of when you're doing the dumbbell clean is especially if you're going heavy and you're doing it for conditioning, you don't have to do stop and go reps. So what I mean by stop and go, you don't have to do one rep. Stop. Do another rep. Stop. What you could do is use the momentum of the weight coming back down when you're resetting for the second rep, drop the hips and come right back into the next rep. Use the momentum of the weight to drive the weight back up. I right, watch. Drop, drive, drop, drive. Okay, very simple. Very, very simple. Now, if you want to get crazy, <laughs> if you want to get crazy, you can do a clean and press. That's very simple. Once it's to the shoulder, press it above the head. All right. Uh, let's just show you one of those. Here, clean, press, and back down. Clean, press. And back down. Now, if you're going super heavy with this, feel free to use this freehand to bring the weight back in. Because what you don't want to do is if you're using 100, 120, 130, getting into some heavy weights of that weight coming down, cracking you in the head. All right. Or it's too heavy for you to control on the way down and it falls to the floor and drags your wrist and your elbow and your shoulder with it. All right. So that is the dumbbell clean and in parentheses, the clean and press. Um, give those a shot. Let me know what you think. But remember, not flipping the wrist forward. You're right? not coming this way. You're coming across the body. Across. Drive up. Drive. And set the dumbbell in front of the chin. Okay? This way. All right. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Comment. Subscribe to the channel. Um, like this video. Share this video. And as always, I'm going to comment down below with... Uh, exactly how you can enroll in the six week Broken the Beast Challenge, which is basically 42 days of mindset repair, bulletproofing your habits, exactly how to eat for maximum fat loss, and making sure you get your workouts in every day of the week, seven days a week. Not long workouts, but just the fact that you get it done. If you don't have weights or access to a gym, don't worry, I got you covered. There's a complete body weight workout program included. All right, guys, uh, check that out in the link down below. That's all I got. See you in the next video.